Hey, how's it going? Um, I want to show you today how to build a smart meter cover that's as good as the $130 professional type for under $20. And um, the first thing I'll show you is the actual cover. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath here. And um, this was $10 on Amazon. This is a 40 mesh stainless steel sieve. And I'll show you here what the listing looks like. Um, looks like that. It's called a Love Day 6 inch, six inch stainless steel professional round flower sieve strainer with 40 mesh. Amazon.com, uh, $9.99 shipped. Okay, so how I'm going to do this today is uh, what I did is I made two strips of foil um, a little wide I meant to get this about two inches wide but these need to be about uh, two feet long you fold it in half and then fold it in half again if you're using the the uh, heavy-duty type and so all I'm gonna do to start with is just take this actually you need to put a little piece of tape on there to start it take this and put it just out from the edge from the oh before I start that um, I tested the ground the ring and it was not grounded to the case so I put a grounding wire there's a little hole I just ran the wire twisted it and then ran it all the way to a ground stake so now the the case is grounded and this foil will be grounded it's really important to ground foil for reasons I'll talk about in a sec anyway so I'm gonna take this put it all the way around trying to just keep it neat and kind of flat against the outside of the meter as much as possible it's not going to be perfectly neat but so now what it does is it kind of focuses the focuses the, uh, the RF out the box instead of coming around from the sides so this is not as neat as I wanted it to be but oh well it'll work Okay, so now that that's on there, I'm just going to put my cover on. And this is going to hold the foil in place. Like that. So, it doesn't look as beautiful as I wanted it to, but it will totally work. I can feel that already in my head. I don't have a professional equipment to check it with but my head tells me it's feeling better <laughs> okay so now the next thing I'm gonna take this wide piece and do the same thing and just kind of cover the whole outside and kind of get the crack along the edge and stuff so this just comes kind of like to the edge of the thing and now it extends out a little bit like that And just kind of put that all the way around. Make sure you cover that crack so nothing can get through. Twist it tight like that, and then I'm just going to tape it. And I guarantee you that's going to work just as well as anything you can buy. That 40 mesh is perfect for this. Alright, so um, something you could probably do is take some aluminized tape like this and tape along the edge, you know, to get this nice and sealed, which I'll probably do, although not right now. Um, but that's it. I mean, that's, I can feel that already. It really, really helps. My head is a, <laughs> as sensitive as any electronic meter. Okay, now for the back of the thing. Um, stuff will come out the back too and so what I did is th these boxes are already grounded but I ran an extra ground wire just to be safe and I took some of this aluminized tape and I covered up the holes in the back of the box this the, the actual smart meter box is up here but it, it's all connected so um, I covered this with foil on the back covered this 
and I and I kind of plug these holes with aluminized tape and I'm gonna go back down here and kind of cover all this stuff too um, foil isn't the most ideal thing because it kind of reflects the RF more than absorbs or dissipates or grounds it grounding it helps a little bit um, this is a material I got from lessemf.com. It's a ripstop silver thread type material, and it really works well. Um, it's a capacitive material, kind of like their Staticot fabric, S-T-A-T-I-C-O-T, -T -T, which I sleep with. Um, capacitive materials work better than reflective materials because they actually absorb and dissipate the RF versus just reflecting it a different direction. So um, I'll probably put this up on the back of this whole thing um, just because I think it's better than foil but uh, I also like I said I have to I have to go and and cover this you know any holes or cracks down at the bottom of the thing so that there's just no way for any of that to get out of the box since the box is grounded so anyway I hope that helps somebody um, I, I feel uh, this feels way better to me and like I said I spent less than 20 bucks on it